guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome back to another episode of AJ Unose's Connected Careers Mode here on Madden 15 on the PS4. And last time we left off, we uh, made some progress with the Dolphins. We ended up going 3-3 three and three after starting off 1-2. and two. We are a 77 overall now and moved up to third string wide receiver. We got some touchdowns last game, got a lot more playing time, and hopefully that will continue here in this week's episode second episode of the doubleheader hope you guys are enjoying that and here we go into the first game of the episode here in jacksonville florida against the jacksonville jaguars uno says looking to improve on his uh, last good the uh, last i guess it's the last three weeks he's been doing pretty good and getting some more playing time since he got moved up to third string and uh it looks like if he can keep doing that then he's gonna start becoming a better player and maybe higher up in the depth chart for the Dolphins. Here we go in this one. It's going to be Ryan Tannehill versus Blake Bortles in a battle of QBs for each of their respective teams. And here we go. Early on in the game, or I should say the end of the first quarter, towards the end at least, Jacksonville gets the field goal. They're up 3-0, so they take the lead. And that's not what we want to do. And we will get the ball back right after that. Looking for a pass, and he's got it right off the bat. Uno says catches it. He's at the five, and he is rubbing it in their face, and he's finally in for the touchdown. What an incredible pass from Ryan Tannehill, finding Uno Seis wide open, and he makes no mistake. In fact, uh, gets a little bit of, I don't know what you want to call it, but he basically just rubs it in the Jaguars' face, scores the touchdown, and now the Dolphins are up 7-3, and uh, pointing at his fans over there. So, later in the game, up 7-3. It is not going to be a pass to Uno Seis, but his teammate's going to get it, and he's going to be fighting all the way. And was that Sean Moreno? Yes, it was. So he'll go all the way to the 13-yard line, and we're getting close to the end zone here. It's a play-action pass, and we are going to call for it. It's Tannehill going deep, but we're not going to have enough room as it's just outside that right-hand corner of the end zone. So we're not going to get the touchdown there, but we will get the touchdown here as Moreno gets the ball from... Ryan Tannehill so it is now 14 to 3 we're back in the red zone here towards the end of the half looking for the pass we call for it but we have to change up the route and he throws it right after we change the route so miscommunication there later in the second though 30 seconds left let's see what we can do we're wide open at midfield he makes the catch and he is down to the 20 the 10 the 5 touchdown AJ Uno says his second of the game his first career multi touchdown game Tannehill finds him wide open, and this Jacksonville Jaguars defense is completely underestimating the power of Uno Seis. They leave him wide open. He gets the catch and gets his second touchdown of the day. We'll call for it again. We get the pass again, and again, he is in for the touchdown. His third touchdown of the game. AJ Uno Seis gets another pass from Tannehill. Didn't look like nothing much, or anything much, but he finds the opening. Gets that right-hand corner of the end zone and celebrates here for his third time today. A great performance from Uno Seis and the Dolphins. We route the Jaguars 35-13. Blake Bortles only putting up 13 points. That's not enough as Uno Seis absolutely one-handedly wins that game for the Dolphins. All they needed was his offense. He gets three touchdowns on the day, and the most important part, or the craziest part, check this out, three receptions for three touchdowns. Every single time he got the ball, it was a touchdown. He got 184 yards, and that was that was pretty good. His biggest run there was a 72-yarder, I believe. And uh, now we'll go ahead here into the next game. At Miami, we're back in, I guess we're not back in Florida because we were in Florida still. We're back in Miami against the Chargers. Let's see what Ryan Tannehill can do here against good old Philip Rivers and the San Diego Chargers so we'll see how Uno Seis does in this game I upped the difficulty by one but it doesn't matter Uno Seis once again gets a touchdown and boy is he on fire he'll get another pass from Tannehill find the opening and he'll go to the left side of the end zone for the touchdown he is hot as you can get right now I upped the difficulty by one I forget the last one was Oh, I upped it, and on the first pass of the game, we get a touchdown. And on this play, we also get a touchdown. It's now 21 0. This Dolphins offense is really, really rising to the occasion as it's 21 0 before the second quarter. 
And later in the game, it's going to be a long pass. Look how wide open we are. And unfortunately, this time, Ryan Tannehill can't find us. We'll go for another receiver, and it's knocked down incomplete. So we'll call for the pass here. We'll get one a little short gain, but we do hang on to the ball nevertheless. So anyways, trying to say that I did raise the level by one. I might have to raise it more because it's getting a little unrealistic here as we get another pass. Finally taking down at the 30. Just really uh, showing his strength there. But I raise the difficulty. If I need to raise it more, I will. I don't want to raise it to the point where it's impossible to get catches, but I do want to raise it so that it's I'm not getting, you know, a touchdown every single game because, let's be honest, I'm a third-string wide receiver. So I'll take that into mind. Meanwhile, we're getting even more points here as we kick a field goal, and it is 27-0 here. And once again, we are going to come out with a victory. And once again, it's a route. We'll win this one by 23. 30-7 is the final score. We beat up on Phillip Rivers and the San Diego Chargers. And hopefully we can carry this momentum into the next week because it's going to be against a pretty decent opponent here. But before we do that here, we're going to go ahead and look at the news. The impressive Lions offense takes the field this week versus the Dolphins, which is funny because the Dolphins offense has been pretty impressive. But we'll see here how they do here against the Lions offense in or at Ford Field in Detroit, Michigan. So here we go in this one, trying to carry over the momentum from last week. And it looks like we're going to start to do that here with a field goal at 4th and 1. We're now we're up 3 nothing, and we have a lead, so hopefully we can carry that on as Detroit will tie it up here with a field goal. So we're getting the ball back here in the second quarter. Checking back in. Uno says cutting to the left, trying to get past their kick return or kick uh, defend team. But uh, he'll get to the 34-yard line and be stopped. I don't know why he's laying down there, but we'll move on later in the game. A nice pass over there to his teammate, and uh, can't help much there. But Ryan Tannehill already has 80 yards on the day, and it is 3-3 still. Looking to get towards that end zone, but this is not going to help as Ryan Tannehill gets sacked. Tolok gets the sack. He's already got three tackles on the day. In the second quarter, third and 15 now, very next play. Trying to get closer, and guess what? Ryan Tannehill is sacked again. Another sack, and uh, that's not what we wanted. So basically, he's just sacked right out of field goal range, so we can't kick the field goal here and take the lead. However, it will remain tied in the third quarter. It is 10-10 as we check back into the game. And it's not going to be a pass to Uno Seis, but it is going to be to his teammate Clay. And uh, there will be an injury on the field. That's to a Lion defender. And hopefully he gets injured because we don't want him facing us. Anyways, later in the game, check it out. Uno Seis getting another touchdown. This is a weird one. I cut to the right and then saw the ball thrown to the left. So I cut back to the left, made the catch, and just squeaked into the corner there of the end zone. And... Uno Seis making a name for himself pretty quickly here in this league. Hopefully he can uh, keep doing it because we'll take it as long as we can and get the points, level him up. Hopefully get to second string quarterback soon as it's now 17-10 Miami looking to get some more points here. We have the ball back again. Uno Seis spinning around a defender and he's almost going to get to the 20-yard line here as that return was, uh, was alright. Hopefully we can do better in the future. Second and ten now, and this is going to be no Sean Moreno getting the ball or blocking for him. He's going to go ahead and get the first down, down to the 30-yard line. And with ten seconds left in the fourth quarter, you think at the 30-yard line that would be enough for a field goal. But the stupid simulation does not kick a field goal. So we find ourselves in overtime. I don't know why that keeps happening. If you know why simulation doesn't kick field goals in connected franchise mode, let me know because it's pretty frustrating because now we have to go and try to win a game in overtime that we should have won with a field goal in the dying seconds of the fourth. So anyways, we win the coin toss, we get the kickoff, and we give the ball back a couple times. But we have it back here with 30 seconds left in the game. Check this out. It's going to be Ryan Tannehill going deep. The pass is made, and we got the touchdown. Finally, we win the game that we should have already won, thankfully, but it uh, took a little longer than expected. So we'll win this one 23-17. Back on the winning track here as we defeat Matt Stafford and the Detroit Lions. Hopefully, this is a sign that the Dolphins are turning around because they had a bit of a slow start. But I think with AJ Unosais playing well and the offense playing well as a whole, we can continue to win here in this league. So that is going to do it for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next up, next episode, very first game, we're facing the eight and one Bills who are in our division, hoping to take them down and get closer to the number one seed in the division. 
as a 78 overall third string wide receiver for the Miami Dolphins. Hope you guys enjoyed the doubleheader. Stay tuned on Monday for some hut. If you guys enjoyed the doubleheader, make sure to leave that thumbs up, that like. Make sure to subscribe, and as always, peace.